You look absolutely beautiful. She like looked at me like, thanks. I mean, he did just run away. Oh, he probably needs a wee, you guys. Bless him. Oh, he's disappeared down the toilet, you guys. Not a good sign. Hey, guys. Welcome back to a brand new Sims episode. Today, we are playing Sims in the suburbs. As you can see, I'm starting this episode off a little bit differently. I've got all of our beautiful Sims here because in the UK, is it actually today? Let me just check. Yeah, it is. Today is the 5th of the November. And in the UK, we have something called like Bonfire Night or Guy Fawkes Night where we basically put a guy in a bonfire and set him on fire, which is kind of weird now I think about it, but it's not that weird. It's basically like a, an event that happened a very long time ago where a guy called Guy Fox and a group planned to blow up the Houses of Parliament, uh, but they were foiled, they were caught, they wanted to kill Kim James, but they didn't manage to get away with it. The, the Catholics did not win, and we now kind of celebrate their failure by putting Guy Fox on top of a bonfire and setting him on fire. So I thought we would kind of do that to set, to kind of kick off this episode. Salma has cooked some delicious food. She knows Kira's coming around, so she's done stuff like veggie burgers and tofu dogs because... Oh my gosh, literally as I say that, we lose power to our our house can i please just pay the bills because we kind of need power for today oh my gosh we can't afford them oh my gosh oh my gosh they've thrown a party and then the power gets knocked off let's not okay i've transferred the money over from fire in the flames which now only has 45 dollars into it into the household accounts so that at least we can pay those bills sorry about that you guys little connorino is outside connor don't be hitting your dollies why don't you come and meet some of your famalums go show one of your toys to ali okay james is here lighting the beautiful barbecue for everyone oh we can change the fire color <gasps> can we have a blue fire what kind of a fire is this where you can just what oh my gosh that's the coolest thing ever you can dance it you can do a fire dance oh you need level five five dancing skill to dance in front of the fire i want to see what other colors i can do to this what about dark pink we should probably add some fuel to it as well so everybody's just kind of hanging out in front of our weird sort of crazy little bonfire or oh, we could probably turn all the lights back on no we've still got no power what i thought we'd paid the bills <gasps> how cool does the fire look now look at these two literally you can't go anywhere without oh these two being like the cutest pookies in the whole world although she seems a little bit mad now but but here you go we're kind of celebrating bonfire night in Las sims which is really cool because i've never done it before so i think it's pretty nice and it means everyone gets to come and hang out with our current cutest, cutest sim by a long way, which is little baby Connor being the big bun bun that he is. Oh, he's going to go give Charlie a hug. How cute is that? How cute is that? Charlie's saying, I feel like I'm old enough to go wherever I want and do whatever I please. Can you treat me like an adult, please? What do we say? She's saying it to James. You'll always be my baby. Not so you've grown more. We'll see what we can do. I think you say we'll see what we can do. Like, you can't just baby her forever. You've got... Oh my gosh, the fire is grey now. <laughs> there comes a time when you've got to let adults be adults. So, there we go. And also, today's episode, she's going to be doing kind of the thing you do right before you become an adult, which is going to prom. So, today's episode is going to be finally the prom episode. What I'm actually going to do while this little cutie is here is I'm going to temporarily add her to the family because I think it'll be easier to do the prom if they're both just hanging out in the same family together. We need to get them some prom dresses and we need to get them some dates. So in the last episode of In The City, they met some new boys. I've asked you guys which boys um, they should be taken to prom, but I've not managed to check the responses yet because I had to record this video a little bit earlier than I originally planned. So I'm kind of, I think, probably going to do it based on how much they like everybody. I think that's a fairly good way. Because Charlie and Jamie get on really, really well. And then last episode, we saw Kira and Zach. Uh, not Zach, sorry. Kira and, is it Anthony? Kira and Anthony got on really well together. So I don't know. I was kind of thinking that maybe that's the way that we tie them up for the prom. Doesn't mean it's their boyfriend forever. It could literally just be a prom date. But that's kind of where I was thinking things should be going, you guys. I'm kind of a bit obsessed with changing the color of this fire. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cute moment that I don't want to lose. Look at these two babies hanging out together. By the way, don't you think Lilith's kind of looking like she's starting to get like a little bit older now? 
Like, she's starting to look more like a little lady, but look at them all just watching all the adults in front of the bonfire. <gasps> look at her doing little fingers on her knees. How cute is that? I love them. They're like the, the kiddies of our family. Oh my god, I thought Jessie was going to sit on her then. They're like the little kiddies of our family with obviously little Faith to join soon, but oh my gosh, look at him. Look at him, you guys. Don't you just want to like him like he's so cute so people are kind of having a little bit of a bonfire dance it's getting a little bit late Lilith's heading home now I think it's fair to say that everybody probably heads home but hey you look at look at uh, Jay go with his with his cool dancing moves I said I wanted to do something with this area and there we go we have a bonfire so hope you like it you guys but let's disband the group Let's all head home, okay? Especially because tomorrow night, Saturday night, is the prom. It's actually today because it's getting so late. So obviously Ali is going to be there last, the big party animal. Everybody should probably head to bed. Kira, you can come and hopefully it'll let, let them sleep in the same bed together. But whenever you had like a friend come and stay over, you slept in the same bed as each other. So I kind of want to make sure that they're doing that. James should probably uh, put Connor to bed as well. I mean, you can probably read him to sleep. I know it's late, but babies are weird with what time they go to bed, aren't they? Salma's like had enough. She's already in bed. She's like... I do not believe in your pagan festivals. Oh yay, it's let them go to bed together. I might have to move these pillows as much as I like them. They, it kind of looks ridiculous when they're trying to sleep. There we go. See, I love this. I love, love, love this because like I absolutely loved having people over to sleep when I was a kid. Mainly because I was quite scared of the dark. So it was nice to have someone in bed because then I wouldn't be afraid. But I love these two like little best friendies having a little nap together <laughs> with their hands glitching through their tops. But we'll pretend we don't see that. Little cutie beans. So the plan is, guys, for these guys, they'll go to prom together with their dates. And then the next episode of each of their respective series, they're going to be, well, actually, they're going to be aging up and hopefully move to a new neighborhood as part of The Sims for pets or cats and dogs DLC, which comes out next week. Guys, we are on the final, final countdown now. I am so ridiculously excited and I can't wait for these two cute little beanerinos to move in together. Because we've not really had, like, friends move out together. Everybody's always moved out, like, in a relationship. So these guys are going to be the first that kind of move out as little besties. Just kind of experiencing the world for themselves. Which is why I, th why I think as well, like, the boyfriend they have when they're a teenager doesn't necessarily, be ha necessarily have to be the one that they end up with forever. We've kind of done that with a lot of Sims so far. But that's not really how w real life works. So I don't mind too much who they bring to the prom. Because I'm not going to, like, tie them off with that sim forever in my head it's probably gonna be like let's just see how it goes sort of situation also i know we're a little bit low on money but you guys had a really good idea of what to put here and actually a good idea for like uh kira in general which i know i'm doing of her room and she's not gonna be in it for much longer but uh, you guys said it would be cool if she was like a, a beauty blogger type so i know it's in front of the window which isn't really ideal but i'm gonna give her like a little setup so that she can become a beauty blogger. Fortunately, I can't get her a PC yet, but soon, soon, you guys. Okay, I'm all spent up. But that's where she's gonna have a little beauty blogger area. Okay, so I'm, I've never, ever, ever done the prom mod before, but I will leave a link for it in the description if you guys want to give it a go. It's by Brit Pinky Sims, and I've actually downloaded the prom lot as well, which I've placed in another neighborhood where they're going to be going for the prom itself. But one thing I'm going to get ready for them when they wake up. Oh, where did it just go? I put them there, but they disappeared. <gasps> Why did they do that? I thought we were going to get them some tickets. Can I put them on the floor? Okay, they'll stay on the floor. You have to bend down for them, girls, but the prom tickets are there on the floor. Ready for them, <laughs> ready for them to go to prom today. Look, look, look. Let me see how close I can get to it. Prom. Prom tickets. Two of them there. One for each of our cute little bambinos. And then you ladies are going to have to get your beautiful prom dresses ready. Okay, Kira, you're up first. You go and grab the little shower first. Charlie Pally is sleeping in. Look how beautiful she is, you guys. I actually quite liked um, Kira and Jamie Street because she's kind of like a little bit more... I don't know. She's a little bit more sort of hipster. Or like, I don't know. I don't really know what their style is, but their styles kind of match each other. 
So I was kind of thinking ah. that maybe, maybe those two, but then I, like, her and Anthony just, like, you know, when Sims just click and they just, like, laugh at each other's jokes. And oh, we've got um, Kira staying over, so let's make sure we make something that Kira can eat. So I'm going to make this fruit parafit. Parafit? I don't know how you pronounce that word. Why don't you come and sit and you can have a little chat with Salma while she's cooking. And then Charlie, oh Charlie's all dressed and up already. Charlie, you come and have a little bit of a sit as well, but you know in Sims just, they just get on and it's just nice and you kind of look at them and like, yeah, you guys should get together. That's kind of how Anthony and Kira are for me right now. I don't know, let me know your thoughts below, but that's kind of, oh my gosh, Kira, you're staying at somebody's house, you at least get dressed for breakfast. Oh, look at that little cutie pies set in the table. How sweet is that? Well, Kira's setting the table. Charlie's like checking her phone, doing some social updates. She's gonna get vexed now because she won't be able to set that one. Oh no, she still did. She proved me wrong, you guys. She definitely still set up. Okay, breakfast, guys. This little Connor's still sleeping. James, can you please feed? Ooh, clean that up. And then why don't you give uh, give some foodie to Connor, okay? Let's give him some uh, little peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. It's a peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter in a baseball bat. And look at this civilized affair. I bet Salma's like, this never happens to civilized as this usually. You know when you go to your friend's house and everyone's out on the best behavior, including their parents? This is what these pies are doing right now. How yummy does that breakfast look, by the way? I would totally eat that right now. I have some berries for my lunch and they'll then nest. Celebrate James's birthday by throwing a rocking birthday party. Oh my gosh, you guys have told me and I keep missing this. But James is still technically a young adult. He ages up today naturally. Maybe we'll just give him a little cake now. Tell you what, Salma, just cook him a little cake just so that he can shut up about his birthday and just like get it over with. He should have had his birthday a very, very long time ago. <gasps> Zombie cake? Oh my gosh, you guys, we should have cooked that for Halloween. We should definitely, ah! I feel really bad that we didn't do that. However, I don't know if you'll be able to turn it into a birthday cake, so mm. just cook him a little blue cake. <gasps> Look at Charlie's emotional control. She's so good at manners, responsibility, and conflict resolution, but her emotional control is an absolute wreck. <laughs> okay, so they're kind of just looking at the prom ticket on the floor like, yeah, okay. But we now need to get you guys into some, I, she doesn't have a wardrobe in her room because she has like these things along the wall here instead, but shh, guys, don't break the immersion, okay? Don't break the immersion. Let's have a look at some little prom dresses for you guys. So I feel like prom dresses are usually like quite long and quite elegant, like you go a little bit over the top for the prom, so I think that's what we'll do with these girls. As you can see, I now have a white background for my criticism background. Let me know if you think it's annoying or good, but that's basically what I've got at the moment. So this is K um, Kira's current sort of um, formal outfit. I actually think it's really cool, but I don't know if it's quite showy enough for a prom. And then that's a little bit too wedding dressy. She's such a cool looking sim. Okay, that would look pretty badass Ooh. for prom. And it actually looks amazing with her skin tone as well. She looks gorgeous in that. I know it's a bit more of a wedding dress, but she just looks so good that I think I'm just gonna roll with it. What should we do with her hair though? You guys don't like that hair as much, but I wanna keep it realistic. Like her hair, I say, cause that's a little bit curly. I'd say her hair goes to about here. So if we do change up her hair, I don't wanna make it like so much longer than it already is. Cause I don't think that would, it would just wouldn't be right. We could like straighten it out. A lot of you guys are saying they don't. You don't know if Kira's hair color is black or dark brown. It is a really dark sort of chocolatey brown color. I don't know if that's quite dressy enough though. Oh, she looks pretty with long hair, but I like that she's got short hair, so I'm not gonna change that. Could go for a bit of like a bouffant hairstyle like this. <gasps> How cool does she look with black and red hair? <laughs> that would probably be about the length of her hair if she straightened it. I reckon. But I'm not sure, I'm not digging it, I'm not digging it. The Salma's hair already as well, don't forget. Okay, so this is the look I think I'm gonna go for Kira. Like, I, I just love her natural hair so much that I don't really want to change it. I just want to kind of keep it the way it is. But I've upped her makeup quite a lot because she's going to prom. So she's got like red eye makeup on. She's got a lot of like highlighter under her eyes. And I just think she looks super, super pretty. Okay, now we need to move on to Charlie Parley Rose. Okay, so this is Charlie Parley's current formal dress. But I think we can do a lot better than this. Let's have ourselves a little nosy. I hate that. These are some of the ones that just come with the game and they're all horrible. So I'm definitely gonna turn on 
custom contents only. See, I know I use this dress a lot, but she's kind of killing it. So I am quite tempted to do that. We could kind of go for a color we've not really done before, maybe. I mean, I love that on her so, so much. And there's this kind of one, but it's maybe a little bit too boobalicious. But boobalicious, I'm thinking. That one... <gasps> Charlie Rose is going to make such a beautiful bride. I was just about to say this one only comes in white, so we can't use this one. But look at that. How much would you marry Charlie Rose right now? Wow. <laughs> got kind of Grecian classy. Not a big fan of like these ones. These are some of the earlier ones I downloaded and I just don't love them anymore. That one's similar to the one we had on before though and that's Ooh. quite pretty. Oh, we could do something like this with the little butterflies. That looks pretty on her as well. <gasps> Guys, I don't know. This is why I wanted to do the prom as a live stream but I just have such like my game's crashing a lot recently that it's just not stable enough to live stream at the moment, unfortunately. I am quite tempted to put her in something like this, you guys. Oh, she looks too good in this. I can't not put her in that. I just can't not put her in it because she literally looks like amazing in it. Black shoes or white shoes? I'm kind of feeling white, you know? Definitely kind of feeling white shoes with that. Can't go on your feet, Charlie. Oh, they're like cute little ballet pumps. Not only are you going to be really comfy, but also look quite cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to give her those little cuties instead. Oh, I downloaded some nails. I totally forgot about that. I can give a nail polish. Is there any like silver that would go really nice with this dress? There we go. They look pretty. Okay, hair and makeup for this Little pretty bun bun. So her hair is like this kind of like, it's like red, but like a dull, cool red. Like I love the color that it is. And I was kind of thinking she might suit her hair upwards. And I thought this was like an identical color. We so rarely see her with her hair up though that I don't know if we lose a little bit of Charlie Rose, you know? We could just pretend she's like super back combed her hair. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe she's like curled it off to one side. I don't know. I kind of love her actual hair so much that it's really scary trying to change it. But I am thinking like if it was your prom, you'd probably like poof up your hair quite a lot. So I might just give her like big hair as like a compromise for her prom outfit. And she needs some like grayish almost like eye makeup to go with her dress. I think that's quite pretty. And I like that it's got the highlight underneath the eyebrow cause it didn't accentuate your arch you guys. I downloaded this. I'm really looking for like a nice nose glow but these ones are all just like such a terrible color which is a bit of a shame. But I want her to have that line at the end of her nose. Ooh, we could give her some banging cheekbones. Like those, I think those are pretty. Oh, I don't know which out the two of them. That's her everyday one. So maybe she goes a little bit heavier for her night out. I can deal with that. Lips. That's what we've got on Kira. Maybe we don't go quite the same color on Charlie though. Those are like the nudie sort of um Kylie Jenner lips. I'm not sure. Oh, those are so sweet and yummy looking. Okay, guys, I think we found a winner. <gasps> she looks so pretty. Do you want a necklace, my love? Let's pop you a little necklace on. Just a little choker, I'm thinking. I need to get some new necklaces. I've got a lot, but everybody wears necklaces in my game. Maybe silver like this. I think that's pretty. I think she looks really grown up, like really, really grown up. But I think she looks pretty prom ready. Let me know if you like Charlie Parley's look in the comments below. And also if you like little Kira's look as well. I both think they look very cool and very much like they are ready to go to prom. <gasps> James reached parenting level 10. They're both kind of like uh, checking themselves out in the mirror. You look beautiful, Kira. Trust me, you look super, super beautiful. Look at that. She knows it as well. She so knows it. <laughs> Charlie's like checking herself out as well. On the reflective toilet. I mean, I feel like there's better ways to do that, Charlie. But if that's how you want to do it, beautiful. That's how you can do it. Let's have a look at you. <gasps> beautiful. Beautiful, Charlie. You look absolutely beautiful. She like looked at me like, thanks. <laughs> okay so our girlies have got all beautiful and dressed up already and it's only 9 45 a.m so why don't you change out of those outfits why don't you guys go for a little swim just like hang out together get ready for your big evening tonight Ooh, salma finished her cake james go add birthday candles and blow it out okay i'm so sick of you being a young adult when you are way too old to be a young adult here we go add your little birthday candles to it 
And then you need to blow out those candles, James. You are not a young adult anymore, I'm afraid, friendo. You are now to be an adult, you know. You've only had two kids. It's definitely high time. There you go. You don't change from going from an adult to um, a teenager, a, a young adult to an adult, but it still does this little freeze. And I just like to like look around like, Look at all these party streamers. There you go, James. You've aged up once. Hopefully none of your outfits are gonna change. <gasps> Emma has sent James a gift. Look for it arriving in the mail soon. Oh, Emma, little cutie bean. So my lovely ladies are making the most of living at an awesome house with a pool. Doing some little swims around together to get ready for this evening. This is like the horrible time. Like if you wake up and you know you've got something really cool that evening, the daytime is just horrible because you just kind of like almost panic it a bit the whole day. Charlie's like in a bit of a flirty mood ready for this evening. Look at that. You can tell as well. She's going to be doing some seducing. Also, I know Kira's still got these same stick on tattoos on, but I just love them so much that I kind of just want to keep them on her. Okay, they should probably drop the boy in some text just to see if they're going as well. So Kira, why don't you drop little Anthony a happy text? Have a little chat with him on the phone. Jamie, what? oh, you can send a flirty text to Jamie. Oh. <gasps> I wonder how this is gonna go down. She's in a fully flirty mood. Look at her in a, a hot little one piece. Looking pretty beautiful, Charlie. Oh, she seems pretty happy with that. Ooh, she got something back. And she likes it, you guys. Look at her cute little eyes. <gasps> Kira, it's a great day. Oh, I missed it, but he's asked if she wanted to go fishing together. It's kind of random, Anthony. You could come out and hang at our pool instead, but I'm gonna send them early because my events always go on till like three or four a.m. So I'm gonna, I think we'll start um, the prom at like 3 p.m. <gasps> oh no, this one's hungry. Oh, he's got some food. I mean, he's wrecking. He's completely wrecking that food, but at least he has food, you guys. It all can if I! Why she got uh, um, brawn? Uh, she been swimming. Who is she? She's Kira. She's cool, isn't she? Yeah, she's cool. Chat, 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 Charlie. She didn't we? Evie, Charlie. Uh, they're with Kylie Aiken. All the girls in my show still have their show. <laughs> they still have their original <laughs> names. They've not adopted their husbands' uh, names. That's cool. Because people keep saying it. I'm like, they didn't want to change their names. You don't have to, girlies, if you don't want to. iPhone time, guys. iPhone time. Okay. Also, guys, I just kind of realized I never told you, but I'm just as a panda bear today. It was really cold, really, really cold in the house. And then it just got like really warm. And now I kind of feel a bit silly that I'm dressed as panda, but I don't know. I'm celebrating the panda. Oh, gems, gems. I know Jesse used to always repair these things for you. Oh my gosh. I don't even need to tell him. Look at him go with his shirt off, working away. I think I've accidentally, like if I look at James's face, he looks a little bit different. I think I've actually downloaded a different skin. Look at the leaves coming through the shower. Um, and I'm not like, I don't like it on the face, but I do like the way it makes the bodies look. So I'm not 100% convinced on it, but he's definitely got a slightly different skin. Okay, James, if you're gonna like clean, like, oh, what's that? You can fix the sink, but you can't clean up. I don't think so, okay? Get these cleaned up too. Oh, little Charlie oh, Roses checking in on cute little brother who's actually <laughs> still dressed in Halloween gear. <laughs> So probably need to change that. I'm very aware that Connor hasn't learned all of his things yet and I like to learn, ev like, level everything up before I age him up. Oh, he's talking with Kira now. So I am gonna, while they're at the Le Prom, I am gonna get these guys, uh, James, to just make sure that we're teaching little Connor things. Oh, he's in a foul mood. He wants sugar from eating desserts. Connor, no, you will be getting no sugar, young man -in. Oh, James is going to work. Oh, okay. Oh, and Jessica's like, he had a birthday, but you didn't invite me. But it's 3.20, you guys are late for prom, okay? You need to throw a prom party. So this, literally everything we're about to do is kind of like a unknown ground. I've never done anything like this before. I've never done the prom mod before. So I'm really hoping that everything is gonna go well, but I am learning and experiencing this as you guys are. I also have some sparkling water. There has been a peach related for fiasco in the house that I'm not ready to talk about yet. Okay, prom. <gasps> they can't afford prom. They can't afford prom. This is a terrible thing. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have to sell something. We're gonna have to sell something 
to pay for prom. You know what? It's not bun fan anymore, kids. There we go. Man, I forgot that the suburbs, like, they probably have some of the best paying jobs in the game. But they also have just bought a house. Dude, and it's man. very expensive. And I'm giving money to charity to pay back for the oh, cheating that I did to help build the house. So it's tough in the land of suburbia. Okay, prom. Uh, I don't know whether to make it a prestige event or not. On the one hand, I really want to because then I'll get the chance to kind of experience everything there is to do at the prom. But on the other hand, I do want to like chat with Similims, but... Okay, the gold level reward includes being crowned prom king or queen. So we have to do it as prestige or else we won't get to have a prom king or queen. Has my camera position changed? Camera, what are you doing? Ah, that's better. It was all strange and weirdly angled. Okay, let's go to prom, you guys. So... The, these guys can be the hosts, just so we get all the teens in the lot. And then the, um, the maker recommends you just invite all the teens in your neighborhood. The problem is you can't tell from this screen who is and isn't a teen. So I'm just gonna go for everybody with like a young face. Or if I already know that they are a teen. This is J. Jones' sister. In my last video in the city, I think someone in the comments was like, you don't have any red-headed sims. I guess we've got like red-headed as in like Selma, but we don't have any ginger sims, I guess. Kelly is uh, Jay's sister. She is a redhead. She's just not really been in the series so far. I think, have we got Aki? Yeah, we've got Aki. We've got everyone. I think this is good. And then you have to have a chaperone, somebody that brings you to prom. So I was kind of thinking maybe Jessie would be quite a good chaperone because she's pretty cool. It was either Jessie or Roxy. Let's just go Jessie. Let's just keep it as one. You don't want too many else there. So I've got 23 teens going to prom, you guys. Which is pretty impressive. 23 is a lot. <gasps> Why won't it let me select the location, you guys? Ah, this is really annoying because I did place the lot. That's really weird. That's so weird. It is a generic lot type as well. Okay, this is bad because we're wasting time. Let me quickly just go to manage worlds and change or just check up on this lot because I definitely made it. That's the most annoying thing. So it's, I think I put it in Oasis Springs. Oh, <gasps> that's so weird. It's not there anymore. I must not have pressed enter or something. Okay, this is fine because I can show you how I got it. Oh, there now I'm offline. Okay, here we go. So I searched for a prom. And then I did it by most popular. And it's this one here by Brit Pinky. She is the person that created the mod. And I put it here. And it worked and it fit and it was fine. So I don't know why it disappeared, you guys. But hopefully it's now going to be there. We have wasted some time though, you guys. I wanted a nice long prom. Okay, that's definitely there now. Like, 100% is definitely there. It looks really cool. It's, like, huge. Okay, this is great because time was paused. Let's try this again, you guys. Try number two. Ah, oh, it's still not coming up, you guys. It's not working. Oh, I shouldn't have saved then. I've just lost an hour. For God's sake, la. Okay, so the lot type has to be set to a generic for it to work. So I just changed it to bar. Change it back and try it again. I'm gonna give it the romantic aura, the party place, and convivial. I think that's how you say that. Okay, let's try that again. Hopefully, it's gonna work this time. Fingers crossed. I hate when like I try new things and they don't work. It reminds me when I did the live episode and I went to try and do the uh, Ali and Claire vow renewal and there just wasn't an option. And I was just like, this is live. I'm so stressed, kill me now! And in the end, we got it worked out. And that's what we're gonna do this time, guys. When life throws you a curveball, curveball, remember that you're not very good at sports and you don't know what that saying means and don't use it again. But no, honestly, when something goes wrong in life, I think there's a growing experience from trying to figure out what the right thing to do is. So take it in your stride and see it as a positive. There you go. Okay, Charlie Parley Pudding and Pie stood there in your bikini in the kitchen. Let's try this again, friendo. This doesn't work now, I'm gonna be so sad. Because this is literally my last ditch effort. Look how pretty and sad her little sad pretty face is. So good! I love the eyes she's got as well. They're like, um, I'll try and find the mod. Oh, I meant to tell you guys, I've got a Sims 4 CC Tumblr now. Uh, check the description of this video. I'm posting like some of the, um, the CC that you guys have been requesting, I'm gonna post on there so that you now know it's all in one place. And if you guys wanna try it out or use it, you can do. Um, and some of the stuff you've been requesting I have put on there, including Lilith's eyes and that kind of a thing. So just keep a little eye out um, 
follow it if you're on Tumblr and anything you like just let me know in the comments and I will post it onto the blog. So I will try and find those eyes. They're actually based on the Sims 3 eyes. So there you go. Sorry, yeah, Sims 3 or Sims 2. One of them. I think it's Sims 3. I think they're based on those eyes. But things are a little bit more realistic. <gasps> yes! <laughs> it's worked! High five, you guys! We've got it working. We have got it working. Thank God! The old gods and the new. I did not think that that was going to work. And I thought my whole prom hype that I've been going on about for a while was all going to be a waste of hype. Complete waste of hype. But it's not. We're all good. This water is making me like... I can't burp, but it's making me feel like I need to burp. Mm, mm, mm. Jesse, why are you in that ridiculous, ridiculous rig out? So guys, here are the people there for prom. She's gone like... She's done the dress bit right. But then she's just gone a bit loopy with the glasses. I'm not really sure what's going on there. She's gone for like a little cocktail number. We've got the guys in their suits. We've got Jess. Jess is there in normal clothes now, ready to chaperone. Make sure that nobody gets too crazy. Where is everybody else? <gasps> I'm itching to see the inside of this venue. Okay, okay, let's put four walls up and we're gonna go like we are actually prombos. Are you ready, you guys? Wow, this way sure is slow, isn't it? Here we go, guys. <laughs> so this is the prom venue. It needs like a lot more people to come in. Also, this mode for me won't let me turn anymore. So we're just gonna go normal camera, okay? <laughs> but we've got a place to come and get pictures. We've got a DJ. We've got a huge dance floor. We've got all these like, little tables and stuff to come and sit with your little crushes. And then we've got these little bathrooms through here as well. I don't know why that floor is glitching out, but it is. My PC has been running for a really long time because I went and ate. Because Ali was like, I want to go and get my iPhone. It's also a really, really cool looking lot. I feel like it's going to look a lot cooler when the sun goes down. Okay, I'm going to add Jessie to the family so that she can like look after the photo booth. And now she's gonna be taking photos of, why don't we get one? Can we do two people at once? Okay, get one of Kira first and then get one of Charlie Rose, okay? Cause we need to get people's prom photos. <gasps> More people are turning up. I like to see what they're wearing. Okay, so this this is a pretty cute little Sim with a little white hair. She has gone for like this beautiful long dress here. And then, oh, our friends are here. Our friends are here. Guys, you need to come inside. Oh, wow. We're taking a picture of this cute little bean. You kind of want to get a bit more of a dress in. So maybe like this, Jessie's not great at so I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but there you go. Let's get a bit of a long one as well Showing off your beautiful dress because you look really beautiful. There you go There you go beautiful beautiful. Okay, let's so let's see which boyos we've got here He's taken his bandana off. It is Joey Holt the party goer and then we've got uh, Jamie Street here. We've got uh, Zach here. We've got little Anthony there and these are some of their friends as well, because we've got Kylie, we've got Lily, basically a load of teens. Okay, we should add everybody to a group together. Oh, Asher is here somewhere too. Asher and Zach have dressed the same. Awkward. Then at least these guys can all hang out together. The music's not very loud. Also, the DJ ain't great. Wait, what is she even playing? Okay, we've got to do lots of socializing. We've got to show off our outfit, introduce ourselves to someone new and dance for an hour. Okay, Jesse, can you take Charlie Rose's picture as well? Kira, why don't you come and say hello to some people? You need to show off your outfit as well. Show off your outfit to little Jamie there. And you could, I think this guy thinks you're a weirdo, doesn't he, Asha? Oh, well, you can show your outfit off to him as well. Oh, look at little Charlie posing for her picture. Why is it being a little, it's been a little bit glitchy and weird, but oh my gosh, look at her pose. Okay, we'll get one like this. Take a picture. Do one without flash. And then we'll do one like this as well. I don't know if these are gonna save somewhere on my PC. I think they probably will. Look at that, so much sass. Okay, <gasps> like that, and one with flash. There you go, looking pretty good. We'll do another one just in cases. So then Charlie's had her pictures as well, and we can actually do a group photo as well. Let me see if I can get that done. Let's get one of Charlie and Kira together, I reckon. Little Kira's just chit-chatting away there. Oh, we've got our 12 socializations for prom done. Now these do- Oh, I love this. This is so cute. <gasps> okay, let's get a super, super close-up picture of them both. Oh my gosh. Love this, one without flash. And then let's get some the other way. So we can see the outfits a little bit more. Okay, maybe one like here because Charlie's doing some weird stuff with her leg. There we go. And then a flash. And then one of the full outfits as well like this. Oh, you ladies. I love them so... Oh, oh, oh. I love them 
so much and I love that they're like bestie cousin friends and they're gonna be living together as well okay uh, you have not shown your outfit off to yet anyone yet Charlie and we were kind of thinking maybe uh, Jamie Street for Charlie so why doesn't she go over and just kind of show off her outfit to him there we go show off outfit he's kind of gone for like uh, the baggy top but then the super skin tight jeans and the little brown shoes for his outfit we need to introduce ourselves to somebody new as well so why don't you go do a nice funny inter interaction there Kieran tick that one off the list He's actually chatting with uh, Anthony, so maybe it's a good chance to go over and catch back up with Anthony again. Okay, let's see what he's thinking of her beautiful dress. He's got to love this outfit. I mean, they're going all the way up to the decks for it. He seems appreciative. Like, guys don't really give much away when you do that, you guys. Okay, they need to eat and also give props. Oh my gosh, this girl is getting down hard. Wow. Oh my gosh, they can do a group dance together. Okay, we should definitely try and do a big group dance. Even though this DJ is pretty, pretty awful. I mean, Jesse, can you not kick her off? I don't know how good Jesse is, but maybe she'd be better than her. Oh my gosh, look, they're doing a group dance. They're doing a group dance. I've literally never seen Sims do this before. This is really cool. Oh my gosh, you guys. Literally groups, and it's called one, two step or something. But they're group dancing together at prom. Literally group dancing at prom right now. They were pretty excited about that too. I'm wondering if I get a better um, DJ deck, if I can play better music. Because I hate that music. <laughs> okay, that's better. That is definitely a little bit better right now. Okay, guys, I'm trying to do all of these social interactions because I really want the chance to be able to uh, get a prom, prom king and queen. But it's definitely not easy. Like, I need to get food now. In fact, Jesse, why don't you just grab the food? Let everybody else, like, stick to the socializations. You grab yourself some Pitta and hummus, okay? I just really, really want to get a prom king and queen. It's actually, like, such a packed venue, you guys. Okay, when I do that camera, not so much. But when I do this, like, you can tell there's, like, a lot of sims here. Simming around. They're even up here doing their thing. It's pretty fantastic up here, guys. Okay, she's gonna try just like a little pickup line because I have to get three flirts in there. Oh, I also have to take pictures with friends. So maybe I should just try taking a picture with him as well. Okay, the flirting's actually going pretty good. <gasps> Two out of three flirts. Now they're like high-fiving each other. My game is struggling a little bit to deal with this many people, but this, this is looking good, you guys. Why don't you swap numbers? And then Charlie's up here chatting away with Jamie. <gasps> Those guys are flirting too. Okay, you need to take a picture if we if we get to do prom king and queen. <gasps> I think we're already on gold though, but still. I'm not risking not getting prom king and queen, okay? I didn't even tell her to flirt with him. They were just going for it on their own. Everybody's flirty. And I think it's from like the actual lot itself. It's got like the flirty trait. Okay, it's really like the DJ is annoying me <laughs> a lot. I want to just listen to like nice music and not weird music, so I might just get rid of the DJ decks. I know you guys, I know, but still. Because now we can just like listen to some like music on here instead. <gasps> look at these two. Like literally look at these two. He is liking that a lot. Like he's like, I don't know what he's doing. He's like brushing his collar. He's hungry though. Can you not get some food, Anthony? Get yourself fed. <gasps> and the music, listen to the music. It's the music from in the suburbs, which is just mud. <gasps> These guys are sitting together. How cute are they? <laughs> I'm going to see if he's single. And then maybe we can like, uh, I don't want to kiss his hand. I think that's kind of weird. Why don't you swap numbers with each other? Jamie is single. Okay, that's a good sign. Maybe you can't reveal you've got a crush on him. I really want it to go well. Look at my game. My game's like, ah! But I can still listen to Zed, even when it's freezing. I think I've got, like, I added more teenagers. So I think I've got about 40 people on the lot who are just teens. Then we've got the chaperone, uh, the chaperone, the DJ, the mixologist. Uh, and it's just all taking a little bit of a toll on my game. But these two are very cute. Even though... They are a little bit frozen right now. <gasps> These guys are so flirty. I wonder if like all four of them, because they seem to have like picked who their prom dates are. I wonder, can we do a picture of like four of them? Let's um, 
set the backdrop to like um, brick wall, so it's kind of like friends, and then. Let's get Jesse to take a picture of all of those four. So it's Kira. It is Anthony. Oh, you can only do three people. Okay, never mind. Let's do like the respective dates instead. So we've got Kira and Anthony. Let's get a picture of those two together. And then we'll do these guys after. It's going, it's going really well. <gasps> we got a gold medal earned. Oh my gosh, what an amazing night. Charlie Rose was voted from cream. You can find the crown in the household inventory. <gasps> Charlie Rose, she is the prom queen. Congratulations, Charlie Rose was voted prom queen by her peers and well deserved. She rocked the party. She rocked the party and made the night absolutely awesome. <gasps> oh, Kira gets it as well, but it's just because they're both in the same party. She didn't. Act she wasn't actually prom king and queen. It did warn me that that could happen. But look at this. Look at this cute picture of these two. <gasps> I'm loving this. I'm loving taking the pictures so much. Look at them, like, name a more iconic duo. Oh, wait, let's just take a picture of those two. Love that. Okay, I'm just gonna take loads of the same thing. <laughs> and then, Jesse, you need to do um, Jamie and Charlie Rose now. She needs a wee, but you're gonna have to wait on the wee. Okay, they're heading over to get their little picture taken together. <gasps> Look at these two! They were holding hands then! I think both of these ladies could walk away from this with a kiss on prom night, you guys. <gasps> Look at these two. It's like one of them crouched. You know when you crouch a little bit next to somebody and then the other person like crouches as well and you end up just getting real low? Girls kind of crouch for pictures anyway, but <gasps> I love this. I remember in Sims 3 he used to get prom photos and I used to always try and see who they'd taken a picture of that night and then that would be there forever. Let's grab loads of these pictures. Love this, guys. I love this so much. This mod has made me really happy. Okay, guys. <gasps> They're still flirting away. These guys are so naughty. I'm worried that the prom is going to end without any prom kisses. So, uh, I think he'd probably want to kiss the prom queen, guys. I'm just saying. Let's try the first kiss with these two guys. <laughs> If it doesn't go well, I'm actually gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry because they're like in the perfect little environment. <laughs> they're quite far away from each other for a first kiss. <gasps> but those guys are definitely, definitely little cutie pies. That's little Charlie Rose looking like literally, like, look at her. Look how beautiful she is. And then gorgeous Jamie Street as well. <gasps> They're a handsome couple. They would be handsome babies in their future. Okay, Kira, what about you, my love? Where's little Anserino gone? Please don't tell me he's headed home already. He's glitched out again, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Okay, Anthony is over here. Why don't we go and just kind of reveal to Anthony that we potentially have a little bit of a crush on him. Maybe do a little bit of a flirt with him and just kind of see where it goes. You know, she may not have the same look that Charlie Rose had. She isn't prom queen, you guys. <gasps> then listen to the music that's playing now. It's in the city where these guys came from. Oh my God, look at him with his shirt off. Just cause he's got tats out. He's like, I'm dancing topless, you guys. And then he just goes for it. Wow. I don't know why he's doing that, but okay. Look at this girl in like the vampy outfit with the boobies out. Got beautiful hair. She's a cutie actually. But I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. I think I've got a bit of an Asher crush, you guys. This guy's falling asleep. Obama. Obama fell asleep. <gasps> Jamie's like sat with uh, Kylie. Uh, I wonder what this little bean's gonna make of that. She's Look at her face. She's like, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna be going in for the kill. Frozen again, but I'm enjoying the music too much to care. <laughs> look, he came over and sat next to her. Yes, Anthony. Sorry, Kylie, but you're not our, you're not one of our little babies. It's these two that are our little babies. And we want these two to hit it off. She's hungry. Now's not the time to be thinking of your tum tum, Kira, okay? Be thinking of this little cutie next to you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, look at them! Look at these two! It's so cute! It's so cute! Oh my gosh, Pro prom was the best idea ever. Prom was literally the best idea ever. Can I get them to kiss from that position? <gasps> make a move? Should I get her to make a move? What did I just ask her to do? No, they're sat together. Okay. 
Where's make a move? It's just gone. Where is it just gone? Make a move. Okay, okay. Let's see if this is going to work, you guys. Please work. I really want them both to have had a successful prom. She looks at the camera. She looks at the camera before she goes for it. <gasps> She's doing the old stretch. She look at freaking naked Asha walking by. He's put his arm around her. She seems to be liking it. It's kind of like it looks the wrong way around because, you know, She's like the little one and he's like big old uh, Anthony. Okay, guys, she's gonna go for the first kiss. She's gonna go in for the first kiss. It seems like it should go well. He's given off all the right signals, but I mean, he did just run away. Oh, he probably needs a wee, you guys. He's just run for a wee, bless him. Bless him. Oh, he's disappeared down the toilet, you guys. Not a good sign. Oh, they're going for it, they're going for it. Please work, please work. Gosh, it's the most successful romantic period of any Sims ever. We've had two perfect first kisses. <gasps> I did not think it was going to go this well. That's so cute. I'm really, really worried. Look, it's in first kiss again, which is kind of weird. But I'm really worried about my game freezing and us losing all this progress. So I may, like, just disband the event and get everybody to head home. She never asked him if he was single. Should probably check that one out, okay? Don't ask him to be your boyfriend just yet, okay? Just, like, li like see how things go. Just see how things go. He is single, you guys. At least we got that going for us. She's doing some very suggestive, like, hip sort of uh, swing in there. Okay, I think it's time for you little guys to get head home. Jesse can come over and stay over at the house. But I'm just really, really worried about the game crashing. So I kind of just want to get them out of the danger zone of like 50 teens and a lot. Loads of crazy stuff going on. Social event. Lots of like custom content hair. Just want to get them home and get them safe. Because I mean, look at this. This is a long freeze. How pale is this poor girl, by the way? Oh my gosh, look at her. What is she doing? She's like stood on the toilet. Please, everybody get home. I don't even dare press fast forward. She wants to ask Anthony to be her boyfriend, you guys. How cute is that? And Charlie Rose wants to watch a romantic TV show. I can't believe she was from Queen. Ah, that's amazing. Well done, Charlie Rose. Well done. Okay, they're back home and safe and sound. Everything has gone amazingly, but I think you two little cutie pies need to get... Jesse! Jessie's in the bed! Jessie, you can't sleep there. Little Charlie Rose is looking after Connor. Jessie, you, like, love you to bits, but you have to sleep there, okay? These little girly pearlies, I've got to, like, actually, should we just get them to, like, uh, sit in bed together and just, like, chat about everything that happened in the night? Because I feel like if you just got back from the prom, you're not going to go straight to sleep. You're just going to, like, sit and chat things through. So there you go, guys. Here is our cute little... Prom queen and bestie chit-chatting away after their prom night. I think the prom went really, really well. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. And as I've said, they had Anthony and they had Jamie tonight. But I'm not like saying in my head they absolutely have to then go off and marry these guys. Or even become boyfriend and girlfriends with these guys. They are, of course, aging up into a brand new series that's going to be starting next week with the release of Pets. These little cuties are going to be moving out on their own as young adults and trying to make a name for themselves in a brand new city. So if you guys are excited for that, give this a little cheeky thumbs up. And still, please let me know your thoughts and comments on the boys that they did end up with and whether you would have picked somebody different in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in some more Sims episodes that I'm really excited for next week. See you then, guys. Bye.